Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I am in my mega happy planner, my Franken planner. And I am going to be setting up my New Year's resolution spread, my New Year's resolution vision board. Um, well, continuing to set up because I've already set up about half of it so far. I did this half with you on camera. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I uploaded a video where I set up some of my resolutions here. But I'm going to continue to set up my New Year's resolution vision board. So if you are interested in checking that out, just keep on watching. So in that last video, I briefly explained the setup of my New Year resolution vision board. I decided at the beginning of the year 2022 that I was going to have one resolution per planner that I have in my planner solar system because it makes sense to kind of align your planners with like an overarching goal. There's a reason why you want to have a planner for whatever aspect or um, yeah aspect of life that you got that planner for. So I decided to kind of sketch out these larger goals that I would be using my planners to achieve. And so I am absolutely 100% extra that bitch, you know, I am I am that type of person that needs to go 0 to 100 real quick. So I have 17 different planners. This is my table of contents. I call it my solar system because I like to have an entire universe to play in. That's just me. And check out this so super cute Gudetama motivational poster. Um, that's the back of my cover page. I saw uh, like a packet of Gudetama motivational posters at my local bookstore. And they're just really heavy cardstock uh, paper that with like cute Gudetama designs on them. And they were a little bit bigger than like a happy planner size so i had to cut them down to size and then i punched them and i have been like filling up my planner with these motivational posters um since i got them <laughs> i have them sprinkled throughout my planner um, as dividers to separate the different planners anyways i was saying that i have one goal per planner that i have in my solar system and so I've been setting up my New Year's resolution vision board here and I have one New Year's resolution per planner and I hope to use that planner to reach that resolution. So I think it's super, super important when you make New Year's resolutions to visualize them and have them like front and center in your mind at all times so that every day you wake up and you can see them and remember that this is a marathon and not a race like your ability to reach your resolutions will stem from consistency and commitment and the small daily changes that you make here and now as opposed to you know some some like future some murky future in the distance so that's why i like having a new year's resolution a vision board um i've already set up let's see 10 of my goals here and actually i have two goals for one planner because i have two like part-time positions merged into that one planner so we're gonna have 18 resolutions instead of the 17 that i have um but that's that's totally fine so we're gonna keep on going um, i'm gonna fill out maybe maybe five or so more so i have four boxes here and then i have five boxes here and then i have this larger box which i don't think i'm going to use for a resolution i think i might use like this space as like a vision like another vision board uh, maybe fill it with like pictures of you know things that inspire and motivate me so i might do that there that means i'll have nine boxes left five on this page and then four on this page and because i only need um let's see seven more boxes i will have um, this larger box and then two boxes left over here which i might just make two additional resolutions just for fun just to fill in the boxes but we shall see we'll see when we get there 
Let's start off with um, setting up our resolutions. So like I said, the next planner in my solar system is, let's see, I left off on my meal planning planner. So, okay, the next one is garden and then followed by budget and then my YouTube channel and then my social um, planner. So let's get into this. I'm going to start off with my garden uh, resolution and how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, write the resolution, add some stickers, maybe doodle like I've done up here. And then I'll fast forward all of that and then we'll get back together at the end uh, to talk about what I came up with. All right, and that's it. This one was really simple. Um, most of these New Year's resolutions are pretty simple in terms of like how I decorate them. I just pulled for this uh, basket full of veggies and flowers from, this is from a gardening sticker book. I think it might be the Garden Flowers sticker book from the Happy Planner. I'm not sure. I just ended up, uh, I just had like, I just have a bunch of stickers in my uh, sticker storage. Uh, book which is this one right here I just have a bunch of stickers in here from various sticker books that I you know um, whenever I get close to finishing a sticker book and I only have a few stickers left on some pages I just go ahead and stick them into the sticker storage book and then you know get rid of all the pages that um, that don't have stickers on them basically and that's it. That's my garden resolution. Really, really simple. A lot of my resolutions are pretty simple. I just put, you know, a sticker, a doodle, and then the New Year's resolution. Here I put this sticker with the veggies and the flowers in the basket. Really, really cute. This is from one of the gardening sticker books from the Happy Planner. And my New Year's resolution is to maintain a healthy and growing garden and to grow and eat my own vegetables. Uh, really straightforward. I just want to make sure that I'm continuing to garden, that I'm still, you know, making the effort and um, still committed to, you know, producing some of my own vegetables. Of course, we can't produce everything that we need, but um, if you have, you know, two or three vegetables or crops that of vegetables that you tend to eat a lot um, I say like that's the best way to start gardening is to figure out what vegetable you eat the most um, usually I feel like for people that's like spinach or kale or um lettuce and then to start just growing the stuff that you tend to eat the most Personally, that's what I tend to grow the most is uh, crops that I know that I will eat. Um, I always try to have kale, lettuce, and spinach in my garden because I, I eat those three veggies the most. So that's my gardening resolution. And then following that is going to be my budget resolution. So let me find a budget sticker book. My goal here is to pay off my car and my credit card debt, which isn't too much. I hope that I can pay that off by June. That's my goal for paying all that off. And then to save 5,000 over the course of the year to start putting that into um, a down payment for a house. It's about time. I feel like I've been a renter, you know, for <laughs> all of my life. And I, it's about time that I start, um, you know, I hate renting. I hate giving away my money to someone for no, with nothing in return because that money is just going down the hole in my opinion if you're renting and i think it's about time that i start you know trying to become a, a property owner so i'm hoping to save five thousand um to start putting that into a fund for a down payment for a house 
So the next planner in the lineup slash the next New Year's resolution in the lineup is for my YouTube channel, my Four Lizard channel. I do want to continue to grow my channel and commit to it. I have so much fun with this channel and you know, a huge thank you to everyone out there who watches my content and supports me. I really, really do appreciate you. So huge thank you. So I'm going to set up my resolution for my YouTube channel. Okay, yay, I had a lot of fun putting this resolution together. I used stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. This is the crafty sticker book with a bunch of super cute paper craft stickers. I feel like Miss Maker would also have worked really well for this one. But this is my YouTube channel resolution. Um, I put a little time to create sticker there. And my goal here is to grow my Four Lizard YouTube channel, to publish consistently Monday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week, and to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So we'll see. Um, I think I am at 1,700 around there. So I, I need a little over 300 subscribers um, to reach that goal. And then the next one, the last one on the page here is uh, corresponds to my social, um, my social life planner. So this is everything that has to do with my social life, hanging out with friends, with family. Um, yeah, so let's get into that one. And there we have my resolution for my social planner. This isn't a planner that I have any concrete or definite goals that I'm working towards. This is more of like a memory keeper for me, like a scrapbooking uh, type of situation. But I do want to remind myself to continue to be social and to make plans with friends and family and make, make new friends. This is super important for me because I think it is essential to, you know, maintain friendships and relationships by, you know, making the time and to have some quality time together and make memories together. And I think it's also important to continue to get to know new people and expand your network and expand your social life. So making new friends is something I'm always trying to do. This is a really important reminder for me because especially when I get overwhelmed with work, um, I tend to let my social life kind of drop off to the side. It's the first thing for me to go, I feel. Um, it used to be sleep. I used to just abandon my sleep, but the older I get, the less I'm able to not sleep. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone needs to sleep, but I feel when I was younger, I was a little bit more able and ready to just like pull all-nighters and go on like two, three hours of sleep um, so that I could party. <laughs> uh, as I get older, I find that I, I can't like not sleep anymore and so for me it's like the social life is the first thing to go so this is an important reminder to me that i need to you know have a healthy social um balance in my life i believe i have three more planners that i need to make resolutions for and then i have two extra boxes and a large vision board box here that um i can fill in so we still have some ways to go in finishing this spread but I really love how it's turning out so far. I think it's super, super cute. So um, if you're interested in continuing to see this spread progress and develop, tune in to part three of my New Year's resolution vision board plan with me. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.